This video shows how rudders are made for the barrel space boats. Sloop Emma, Schooner Irene, and the fast cargo schooner Annie. Here's what the finished rudder looks like. The rudder is made up of a metal skeleton and a plywood core covered with epoxy and fiberglass. The metal skeleton can be made of aluminum. This aluminum rod came from the local hobby shop. It is stiff enough and yet easy to cut, drill, and thread. Perfect for the rudder. File a bevel on top end of the quarter inch rod. This will make it easier for the die to start cutting a thread. A hand die can be used to cut the threads with oil, lots of oil, any kind of oil. File a flat spot for each of the eighth inch cross pieces and center punch each spot before drilling. Use a drill press if you have one or the job can be done with a hand drill. Insert the 8th inch cross pieces and use a drop of glue to hold them in place. Check the alignment. We want the cross pieces to stand in a line. Bend as needed to line them up. Lay the skeleton on the plywood and mark around the cross pieces. Split the plywood. and cut the slots for the skeleton. Clamp the plywood to the skeleton and use a few drops of super glue to hold it. Add spots of 5 minute epoxy to make it strong for the next step. Apply epoxy filler. I'm using a ready-made filler, but thickened epoxy resin can be used as well. Use a sanding block with 80 or 100 grit paper to smooth the surface. Several applications of filler might be needed. Round the leading edge, leave the top, bottom, and trailing edges square. Once the surface is smooth, lay fiberglass cloth with epoxy resin. Wrap the cloth around the leading edge, but let it trail off the top, bottom, and trailing edges. After the epoxy is cured, trim the cloth and apply a second coat of resin for a smooth surface. Be sure to coat the edges with resin. Now it's time to file a flat onto the front side of the threaded area. You want to make a tiller for the rudder. This tiller is cut out of 1 16th inch brass. You can make that D-shaped hole by drilling a 3 16th inch hole and using hobby files. The tiller dimensions should match the chosen servo arm. I make linkage from a stainless steel welding rod. The arms in the linkage form a parallelogram. That gives us a most reliable pull-pull system. Learn more about the Barrow Space Boats at our website. I'll put a link in the description below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You'll be welcome aboard.